Hi, I'm Carmel Debedeen. I believe food shouldn't just taste good, but it should look awesome as well. Join me as I bring my kitchen to yours. This is the DB Kitchen. Welcome to the DB Kitchen. I'm Carmel. I'm a Hong Kong girl, and this is one of my favorite things to eat at the local seafood restaurant. It's a steam snapper with ginger fried rice. It's actually super easy to do once you've got all the, uh, all the marinade down. So I've done the hard work for you, so try this one at home. First things first, prepare a wok or a steamer with one cup of water and, um, and also a little seal heng tao. This is um, Chinese rice vinegar. You can get it at your local Asian, um, Asian grocery store. Once we've got that rolling, we are going to prepare our fish. And we're going to gently just score through the skin. And I say gently, when you feel the bone underneath, that's deep enough. Now we're just going to rub a bit of salt into the skin. Make sure to get a little into the cuts. Once you've prepped your fish, we're just gonna set that to the side for a few minutes and we're gonna prep our vegetables. So grab some spring onions, coriander, cilantro, some ginger, shallot, and the garlic we'll leave to the end. Once we've prepped our veggies, now we're going to um, prepare our fish to go into the steamer. Just add a little bit of sesame oil to our parchment paper, just so that our fish doesn't dick when we wanna take them out of the steamer. Now, grab a little bit of ginger, some shallots, and some spring onions. And we're just gonna work a little bit of each down into the fish. We're just gonna grab our cilantro, and then we're ready to go into the steamer. Rest him across the middle of the steamer, and we're gonna cook him for 15 minutes. So the secret to this beautiful dish is that amazing sauce that gets drizzled on right before serving on top of the fish. Now, we're gonna prepare that sauce and in here I already have um, two teaspoons of sugar. To that, we are going to add four tablespoons of Shaoxing rice wine. And we're gonna add two teaspoons of sesame oil, a little splash of peanut oil. Also, light and dark soy sauce. We go in one tablespoon, one tablespoon of the dark soy. One more thing, we're gonna add in some, um, some chicken stock, roughly about half a cup. We're just gonna give that a good mix around and then we're just gonna sit that to the side and just let it brew a little bit. But the, the trick for fried rice is to use day old rice. And then we're gonna add our pre-cooked, I've gone with brown rice just because I like the texture. Add in a ton of ginger and a little bit pink salt. We don't really want to cook this through too much. We just want to create a nice aroma with that ginger. And we're just gonna set this aside. Okay, so we're just gonna double check that our fish is completely cooked. So go towards the top and the back of the fish and just make sure that you can see the flesh is gonna peel away really beautifully. We're nearly there. The last thing that we've got to do is warm through our sauce. So we're just gonna add that to a pan and heat that through with some fresh vegetables in there. When we're now, we've got a nice rolling boil in our pan, you can really smell everything's coming together. You can actually smell this, it starts to change. Grab all of those beautiful veggies and just drizzle them over the fish. And there we go. This is my very favorite Cantonese dish. Time for a picture. And there we have my favorite Cantonese steamed snapper. For the full recipe, go to www.thedbkitchen.com and check out our Instagram and Facebook page. For the full recipe, please go to my website, thedbkitchen.com and check out our Instagram page at The DB Kitchen. For more delicious recipes and styling tips, please subscribe to this channel.